Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. So in today's video, I am going to share some really cool landing page shortcuts that'll make your funnel building so much easier when you're using the Builderall tool. So I've got a few questions about, you know, do I have to buy a domain for every new funnel that I build? And how do I redirect my funnel page to my bridge page? So in this video, I am gonna answer some of those questions so that if you're considering using Builderall or maybe you're already on the 14 day free trial, you have a better understanding of how easily you can connect a domain and add multiple funnels to a domain and how to redirect your pages so that you can start building funnels quickly once you're inside the Builderall system. So if that topic interests you and you want to learn how to do that, then keep on watching. <laughs> Guys and guys, again, this is Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com. Please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would truly, truly appreciate that. All right, guys and gals. So the first question I'm going to answer is: Do I need to buy a domain for every single funnel that I build inside of Builderall? No, you don't. So let me show you exactly how I have one main domain and then I connect multiple funnels to that same domain by using the in-house Builderall subdomain. Let's go into my back office. All right, guys and gals. So here's my main sales page, my main presentation page that I built to promote Builderall. And you'll notice that it's over here on risingwithbarbieonline.com and it also has that little secure lock. See, this domain is registered with name.com, which is where I register all my domain names. And then what I do is I point the servers to point to Builderall's servers. And so now this domain is pointing to the Builderall servers, that which allows me now to assign all my funnels or any of the funnels that I want to this domain name. So once you are active inside of Builderall, you'll learn how to actually point your DNS server to the Builderall DNS service. So I'm not going to go into that right now, but the main thing I want you to know are a few things. First of all, you get a secure lock anytime you point a domain or you connect a domain actually to Builderall. So that's going to save you a bunch of money. Now, the second thing is, is this is like one of the main domains that I use to link up my funnels. So when I come into my Builderall back office and I'm inside of the Cheetah Builder, you will see all of my websites. If I come over here and I just put the keyword rising, it'll find all of the funnels that I built that are linked to that main domain, okay? So for an example, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to open the website over here. Hey there, this is, and you'll notice that it says dollar.risingwithbarbieonline.com. This is a subdomain, okay? But I don't establish that subdomain on the domain registrar side. I do it inside of Builderall. So I'll show you that in just a second. Here's another one I did as an example for one of my teammates this morning. I took one of these done for you lead magnet funnels that you can find inside of the Builderall Funnel Club. I downloaded it and attached a subdomain to it. So when I click open this link and I go to the website, you'll see that this is what this one's called fatburning.risewithbarbieonline.com and it's got the little secure lock that Builderall attaches to my domains absolutely free with my membership. This is another one right here, coaching. If I go to this coaching funnel and I go to the website, Again, it's coaching.risingwithbarbieonline.com. So I'm using the same domain over and over and over again. All I'm doing is creating a subdomain so that I can use these funnels with my main domain. So how do you connect a subdomain? Well, it couldn't be easier to do inside of Builderall. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go uh, refresh this and uh, that way the keyword's no longer there. And I'm going to go to some of my unpublished funnels. So I'll go ahead and take this done for you lead magnet funnel, which again, you can find inside of the Builderall Funnel Club if you are on the premium plan. And I'll take this moment to tell you that if you haven't activated a 14 day free trial, 
I would highly encourage you to do that by clicking on the link on the screen, or I will have a link for you right below inside of my description box. That way you can tap into the Funnel Club, download these funnels, and this is exactly what you would do as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Connect Domain, and I'm going to call it Success Affiliate dot rising with barbie online dot com and i'm going to click and i'm going to save that okay so now it says connect domain confirm success affiliate dot rising with barbie online dot com so i'm going to go ahead and save it and it's going to take a few minutes but it's going to go and assign that subdomain to my main domain. It's very, very simple to do. It's all internal. You do it inside of BuildDraw. And in about 30 minutes, your new funnel will be ready. Subdomain will now be connected to that domain. And it takes about 30 minutes for the secure lock to appear, just like I showed you right here. So it's going to take a few minutes, but just trust me, give it 30 minutes. The secure lock will appear. And now you'll have this cool new subdomain attached to your main domain and you can build as many funnels as you want and use as many subdomains as you want with the same domain. All right, so the second question that I get a lot is how do I connect my lead capture page to my bridge page or thank you page or, you know, basically how do I redirect from one page to another when they're at the opt-in form? So that is super simple to do and it's just a matter of clicking on a few little icons inside of your email marketing form. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so here we are inside of my Build Draw back office again and we're going to be using the ebook lead magnet funnel as an example. Now you'll see that there's only two pages inside of this funnel, your home page and the ebook download page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit page. And the email form here is very straightforward. All I need to do is capture their name and email and then redirect them to the thank you page. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this and this little menu will come out. Now what you're going to do is click on this little gear just to select the list that you want them to go into. So I'm going to click the gear and then it's going to allow me to select my preferred list right from here inside of my mailing boss. So I'm going to go ahead and I've already uh, chosen this keto sample list. So I'm going to select that and click on save. Now, obviously you have to set up a list in mailing boss, but that's another tutorial for another day. Assuming that you already have a list built in mailing boss, then all you have to do is summon that list right from the email marketing form. Now, we have it connected. How do we redirect? Very simple. Click on the chain link. A little window is going to open up and it's going to say subscribe pending, subscribe confirm, and unsubscribe confirm. So we're going to click on over here and we're going to select the ebook download page. Click select and do the same right here. And that's all you have to do. So while they're pending the subscription, they're going to go to the ebook download page and until they confirm their subscription, they'll still go to the ebook download page. Uh, now you do have the option of creating a custom page or link for your unsubscribe confirm, but I just usually leave that blank. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. All right. So the last thing I want to show you is how to get your website links. If you want to start promoting your funnel after you've connected your domain and you want to start putting your funnels or your website out there, it's very, very simple to find your builder all link. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right. So here we are again in my cheat out back office, and we're going to use this funnel that we use in the previous example. Now, when you want to go ahead and start promoting this, there are a few different places to find links. Now, if you go right here, this is the main dashboard and you want your actual website link. All you have to do is click on these three little dots and you go to the website through here and boom, that is the link that you are going to share to start sharing this funnel. Now, how about if you want to share an individual page inside of your funnel? Like maybe you just want to send someone the thank you page, or maybe you just want to send someone the checkout page, for example. Well, you're going to come over here and click on edit site. And now this is dividing it into pages. So if you click on the three little buttons right in here, you are going to get the individual link for this particular page. So you're going to click on go to website and this will be the home page. And if we go back and click on these three little dots and click on go to the website page, that's going to take us directly to the 
thank you page. All right. So that is how you find your links for your website and for your individual pages. Simple, right? So, all right. I hope these three shortcuts helped you. If they did, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. Now, if you haven't activated a 14-day free trial inside of Builderall yet, and you want to make sure that I'm your sponsoring affiliate and that you are a member of Team Rise, I highly encourage you to go ahead and activate a 14-day free trial by following the link right on your screen right here. So with that being said, this has been Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on another video. Bye.